Good morning, welcome back to another episode of Nicole and Miko. If this is the first time that you are seeing one of our videos, we have been traveling the world full time since March of 2021. For the last five or so months, we have been exploring the beautiful continent of South America. We've just arrived at our fifth country here in South America. We've arrived to Peru, and now we have made our way to Lima, the capital city, and we've got a lot to explore here. We've actually been here for a couple of days. We've had a chance to get to know the city a little bit. So today we are going to show you around and tell you the seven best things to do here in Lima from what we've learned exploring the city the last couple days. So the first thing to do on our list of best things to do in Lima is to explore Miraflores and grab breakfast here. Now what you need to know about Lima is that it's a city of 11 million people and there are 43 unique districts each one offering a little bit of a different vibe. So Miraflores is one of the top tourist destinations here in Lima and it's most likely where you'll be staying if you're going to be touring around Lima. Now the district here is where you will find lots of things going on. There's always a lively entertaining events, there's street art, there's street food, there's people just enjoying the park and having a great time. And what you'll also find here are a lot of cats just hanging out, enjoying the place, living here. If you're looking for a feline friend to pet, there are no shortage of them here in the central park of Miraflores. So if you need a cat fix, like come here, man. I have pet so many cats today, this is awesome. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, wow. They are super cute, I could be here all day. <laughs> we gotta keep moving, let's go. Oh my god, it looks so good. Thank you. Okay, one of the best things to do in Miraflores is just like find one of the little shops. There's tons of cafes and like cute, quaint little restaurants right around like in the neighborhood. Grab yourself some breakfast and a coffee and just enjoy. So I know this isn't exactly like Peruvian food, but we've actually seen crepe shops all over Lima. So I'm calling it Peruvian today. <laughs> I promise we will try like super authentic, legit Peruvian food today too. Okay, so the second thing to do on our list is to see the coastline. Lima has tons of beautiful coastline and they've got this awesome like walkway, like promenade that you can use to see the coast. We suggest you start where we are right now, which is Parque de Amor. It's honestly so beautiful. The artwork is gorgeous. Um, so come here, check it out. It's like just a 10 minute walk from Miraflores. There's lots of beautiful like restaurants around and like little shops along the way as you walk down um, or ride down the promenade. So right in the middle of Parque del Amor is this huge statue showing two people in like a loving embrace. Very fitting for the name Park of Love or Lover's Park. <laughs> it's really quite nice. I feel like it's representative of Latin culture. Like it's just like such an affectionate culture. We love that. Um, yeah, this represents it well. <laughs> ah, this is actually really nice. Ah. Mm. <laughs> There's this beautiful mosaic wall here and it separates like the park behind me from the cliff overlooking into the ocean. So you can see like the coastline of Lima is actually really, really cool. It's really like long and jagged and it's, it's so neat how like the city looks like it's built high on a platform and it just ends at a cliff right into the ocean. KFC, our favorite place to have lunch. No, I'm joking. <laughs> So not too far from the coast by Miraflores where we just were is here, Mercado 28. Now this is a great market if you're looking for some really good authentic Peruvian food. Now Lima in particular is one of the best places in all of South America to get food. And here in Mercado 28, they've got such a great variety.
choices here, but we chose like two of the most classic sort of traditional Peruvian dishes to try today for lunch. I got lomo saltado. So lomo saltado is like a mix of like Chinese and Peruvian cuisine, which is really popular here in Peru. So you can get this dish all over the country. It's kind of a bit like a stir fry is how it's described online. So I've got beef, potatoes, and of course rice. It smells so good. Been marinating. Wow, look at that. It's just like thinly sliced beef. Really well done. Lightly seasoned, but I can tell it's been like sitting in, I don't know what, maybe soy sauce and something like honey or brown sugar. I'm not exactly sure. And I guess it's um, often served with like french fries, or in this case, I got like deep fried potatoes. Basically, just huge chunks of french fries. I was super excited to do, try this dish today because I think for me this is gonna become like a staple Peruvian meal item like that I eat throughout our whole time here. This is a perfect meal for me. Mm. So ceviche is just something so common here in Latin America, especially along the coast. You can get it in lots of different countries, but Peru, they claim to have the best ceviche, especially here in Lima. So if you come to Lima, you definitely have to try the ceviche. I got the ceviche mixto, which is a combination of different things. You'll always have your fresh raw fish here in Peru, but I also got some uh, shrimp and also some octopus added in there. Ceviche, if you don't know what it is, it's just fresh, like, raw fish, and then it's uh, added with, like, citrusy or kind of lime juice, and that's what kind of cooks the, the meat a little bit. So it's not, maybe not quite as raw as you might think. Oh, that's so good. Very, very smooth. Um, not overpowering in any way, although now that I taste more of it, I feel like I'm at a seafood market. I'm gonna try the octopus. Oh. That's good. I think the octopus is raw too, so it's like very slimy. I don't know, I love it. I'm not, not probably not everybody's cup of tea, but if you like seafood and you like ceviche, Definitely Lima is one of the best places in the world to get it. Welcome to number four on our list of all the best things to do in Lima. We have made our way to Barranco, which is another neighborhood or district here in Lima. It's super touristy, really well known for its street art, which you can already see behind me. This place is absolutely stunning. We're going to take you around, show you what it's all about. So Barranco is one of those neighborhoods that you just come to just to like walk around and kind of see what's going on. Uh, there's a fellow behind us who's like playing an instrument. We've been here one other time and there was also people playing instruments. There's just so much to like see and there's so many people around. So you just kind of like wander and check out the charm and... It's a little bit different than Miraflores because yeah. I find that like Miraflores is kind of modern but when you go to Barranco it's mm -hmm. like you're stepping back in time. Yeah. All the buildings look super old, like super quaint and cozy. Yeah. It's just got a bit of a charm to it. Yeah. Yesterday though we actually came here for dinner. There are some incredible restaurants here. Amazing. Yeah, we met up with our friends. Uh, you may have seen them in another vlog before. They're called Hobart's Abroad. Go check them out. They do travel vlogs just like we do. So go and take a look at them. We came here yesterday. This community for dinner and it was wonderful. Had an awesome, awesome dinner. Yeah. Once again, Peruvian food, especially the food in Lima, lives up to its name. So good. <laughs> oh, and there's a cool bridge here that we should probably go do the thing. Right, right. We should, yeah, we should, we should go do the do that bridge. Thing. So it's called the Bridge of Size. Um, I don't know why they call it Sai. <laughs> probably because you sigh at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess there's like this. Like, what do you myth or myth? something like that? Yeah. I don't know what you call it. Where you're supposed to, like, if you have, you're here with like a partner, you're supposed to walk across the bridge holding your breath. And if you can make it to the end of the bridge without taking a breath, then you're gonna be together forever. Apparently so maybe that's so. the bridge of size. Maybe at the end you all go, <gasps> no, you don't go like that. But you have no air. You go, <laughs> okay, anyway. Who knows? We'll go try it anyways. It? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go do it. All right. Moment of truth, my dear. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're not 
walk or run? Did we run? Oh, <laughs> it was more of a fast walk. <laughs> Look, hon, together forever. Oh, there we go, we're what good. What a relief. <laughs> I'm glad we used this bridge to confirm that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, important stuff. <laughs> So number five of our best things to do in Lima is to try the street food. Of course the food in the restaurants are great, but the street food on the carts can be even better. So we found a place that sells picarones, which is a really popular street food here, and we're gonna go and try some. Picarones. We've been waiting to try these. I'm so excited. So picarones is deep fried yam and sweet potato with syrup. So the deep fried, honestly, it's like a donut, but made with like vegetables, which makes me feel like it's not as terrible for you. And I think I'm supposed to like pour this over this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is super, super good. It's like really soft on the inside, really crunchy on the outside, and like sweet. Oh, it's good. And if you're nervous to try street food, if you're someone who like typically tries to avoid street food, this one in particular is a good one to try because it's deep fried, so you probably can't go wrong. Lima street food, must try. This is super good. All right, we're gonna tell you about number six on our list on our way to number seven. Number six is to go and check out Plaza de Armas, which is located in the historic district of Lima. It is a beautiful space. We popped there a couple of days ago. We actually did a walking tour, which we highly recommend as a way to get to know the area. The buildings are just beautiful and so colorful. There's so much history to learn about, lots of cool restaurants and food around. So definitely go and give that a look. Um, we are obviously not doing that today. We just had a really full day, but if you are here for only one day in Lima, you could fit all of this into one day if you're squishy on time. Otherwise, it might be simpler just to break it up into two. Okay, welcome to number seven and our final stop for today. This is uh, Plaza de Reserva, and today we're gonna watch the Circuito Magico de Agua, which is like a magic water show using these huge fountains of water. They got lots of people here. It was four solos each. I think it's gonna be a good show. Are you excited? Yeah, I am excited. I hope there's music. I think that would be pretty cool. Honestly, I love this. Using the water as like a screen. It's like a projector screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then just using it to play like beautiful, like I would imagine landscapes of Peru. Very, very cool. Oh, oh, there it is. We're gonna be there soon. Completely not what we expected. I think it was even better. It was awesome. It was actually really neat. Definitely worth coming over to if you get a trend. Just come check out the lights. It's like 20 minutes or something like that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the park here is beautiful. But I think that wraps up our day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our seven best things to do in Lima. We certainly did. It's been an awesome day. <laughs> yeah, if you are coming to Lima soon, we hope this video is really helpful for you. And you can enjoy the city as much as we have. We're going to leave you guys here. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, welcome back to another episode of Nicole I mean, What am I saying again? <laughs> You're seeing one of our videos. Hello, Frank. Well, all the things you have to kind of offer, and it's been dope. And well, that will leave you guys there. We'll so see you in the next. Shoot, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I was just